In a previous video, I explained how you can connect a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation to a Microsoft Access database. The example presentation that I created was linked to the demo Northwind Access database. In that video, I linked and displayed order information with ship date, ship name and location. You can see that it was linked to the first row of the orders table. So when I start the slideshow, it will continuously display the shipping information of that first row only. But of course there are multiple orders in my order table. And all this data is currently not shown. So I can add another slide by duplicating the first slide of my presentation. And then on the second slide, I can change the linked row number to 2 and on the third slide I can set the row number to 3. But where does it end? I can't predict the number of orders in the future nor can I set up a slide per order now. That's way too much work. There is a more elegant way to create virtual slides here in PowerPoint by using DataPoint as before and by just setting one more option in data point. So I use the presentation of the last video. I click data point and then the scrolling button for this slide. I enable the scrolling for this connection and I set the step size to one row. One row because we will be displaying the rows one by one. The step time is the time needed between two rows. So I will decrease this to three seconds. And I click OK. So now when I start the slideshow, I will see the first row for three seconds, then the second row for three seconds, the next row for three seconds, and so on. So each row of my orders table will now be displayed three seconds long in this slideshow. 